Hey, welcome back to The Visible Entrepreneur. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the five key messages you need in your visibility plan. A couple of these you may not be familiar with, so I encourage you to stay tuned. Are you ready to get your brand seen worldwide? Ready to learn the exact strategies that have made millionaires? Want to know the secret softwares I use to save time, energy, and keep things running and profitable with the minimal team? It's all here on my show, The Visible Entrepreneur. I'm your host, Michelle Lewis, founder of Visibility Vixen. After hitting the top of the charts in France, the UK, Australia, Canada, and Singapore, The Visible Entrepreneur is back for season four with some of the biggest names in the business. I'm asking them to spill detailed information about what's made them so successful, specifically their track traffic and income generators. That way you can take notes, study the strategy that will work best for you and see success in your own lead and revenue generation. We're all about honesty here and I'll never stop working to get you the support you need and pushing you to give back to the planet. After all, entrepreneurs are changing the world. Welcome back to The Visible Entrepreneur. Okay, so when people talk about visibility, it can feel like an overarching, complicated, overwhelming topic, right? Because it can mean so many things. It can mean marketing, your social media plan, your email marketing. It can mean um, your different appearances, just all kinds of things. So what I wanted to talk about today are what are those five key messages that you need to have in your arsenal that really bleeds out into any visibility plan that you can create. These are some time-tested techniques that I have built over the past couple of years, and I think that it might really help you no matter where you're at in your business journey. If you're first starting out, this is going to give you some great resources to have a firm foundation. If you've been doing this a while but are still kind of struggling, feeling like you're just kind of in a lifeboat on the ocean without a rudder and without an engine, then this might be really helpful for you to get a little bit of clarity and be able to pivot some of your uh, planning. So the first thing before we get started, I want to encourage you that if you if you have not taken the Visibility Sprint Masterclass, I encourage you to do so. That's going to give you even more clarity than what I'll be talking about here on the show. So you can find that at visibilityvixen.com forward slash sprint. So I'm going to leave that link below for you as well, just in case. Who knows if I'm saying the right one at this point, right? So here we go. So the first message that you want to have in place is you guessed it, your mission statement. This is a one sentence encapsulating who you are, who you serve, the results you get them, and your offering. This is something that you're going to need for every part of your business, your social media accounts, your uh, press page, your website, every offer page that you have uh, in your pitch plan, in whatever you get featured, summits, guesting spots. I use it everywhere. And I remember way back in the day, I got on this clarity call and I don't know if you've heard of her before, Lexi D'Angelo. She was offering free clarity calls and we got on the phone and she was saying, okay, so let's give clarity to who you are and what you do. And I remember going on this, this long winded, ridiculous thing. And she was like, that took way too long to explain. And she was absolutely right. It took me time to figure out this formula, which I will give you right now. So grab your pen and paper, because even if you think you have your one liner, chances are this one is going to blow it out of the water. So here's the sentence. I'm a title who helps ideal client result, result, result through signature offering. This is hard to perfect. My students struggle every week. And they're like, well, how about this? I'm like, nope, it's too long. We got to cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. So if you're thinking about like, okay, Michelle, but I maybe I'm going to give this a go, maybe not. But like, what's a good example of a mission statement? I'm going to read you mine right now. So I'm a visibility expert who specializes in helping floundering brands identify their unique brand color, inject meaning into their messaging, and attract their dream customers through my signature color course. And you may say, well, Michelle, but you do more than that. You talk about visibility, you talk about publicity, blah, blah, blah. I'm very much aware 
But for the most part, I can tweak my mission statement if I need to from talking about visibility or whatever. But for the most part, I focus on the first step of the journey I'm going to be taking my ideal client, which is color psychology. So give this a couple of tries. It's going to take you at least four or five drafts to really perfect this. But I find that this is the way to start with your visibility plan. Having a mission statement in place that you feel good about that can be your one sentence introduction wherever you go is incredibly key. So keep that in mind as we move forward into number two, which is your belief statement. I don't see enough brands doing this and I think that it's really a disservice because especially now we are in saturated markets, right? It's not 1995 anymore. We have so much going on, so many competitors. And the thing that can really differentiate us isn't just what we do. We did that a little with the mission statement, but still we're, you know, we're in a, what they call a red ocean, right? So a belief statement goes even deeper into what you believe and what you want to see, in my opinion, change in the world. So this can be incredibly powerful. And this is a process I take every Visibility Lounge member through because it's important to know not just the immediate why of why you're doing this, which could be family, finances, circumstances, wanting to retire your spouse, whatever it may be, but going even bigger. What are you going to do with your revenue to help support change in the planet? We're all born with that specific twinge of what really breaks our heart of what's happening in the world. And I would like to think that we all are brought into being entrepreneurs to actually see those changes. So for me at Samaritan's Purse, here's a card they sent me for last month's donation. I really love what they do. Uh, in the world. And so this is where 10% of my paycheck goes. And it doesn't have to be 10%. If you're saying, well, I'm not making enough recurring revenue in my business yet, a dollar, we can all give a dollar, right? So start small, work your way up. And with this belief statement, all you're going to do is write down what you think is different about how you were created, what's on your heart to change in the world, and where you plan to give to help enact that change. How powerful. And if you can put it into a social media post, share it. People want to know your heart and they want to know why you're different. And I found that this does a beautiful job. All right, now let's move on to number three, the third key message that you need in your visibility plan. And that is a hero story. People need to know where you came from and what made you get into this industry. If, you know, I said, oh, I was an actress and I was successful in all this stuff and then I got into visibility, who's going to give a crap, right? No one's going to care because they're going to go, you are so unrelatable, blah, 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 right? But if I talk to you about how I had such visibility blockages because of injuries in my childhood that I became a stand-in, so I was in front of the camera, but not when it was actually recording, and how that program my subconscious to hide and not be seen, then you're going like, oh, that's interesting. I can relate to, you know, bullying. I can relate to not wanting to step out there. I can relate to not wanting to be seen. I'm positioning my story in a way that people who have similar struggles can relate to it and go, that's the person that I need to coach me out of this, right? We all have a beautiful hero story. And what I encourage you to do, you don't need to go into every single struggle you've ever had right? This doesn't need to be a telenovela. It just needs to be the pieces that relate to this real visual part of what you do. And I find that being able to just take a couple of those key stories can be incredibly powerful to help your audience go, that's my right person. And that's the goal, right? All these things, when we talk about visibility plans, we're talking a little bit about messaging today. And it's because just those little tweaks can make the biggest difference in the world. So I want to take a break here. Hopefully you've been writing these things down, getting the ideas down as you can. Maybe you're doing it in the notes of your phone. Would you do me a favor? If this is resonating with you, if you're finding these tips helpful, would you take a screenshot of this episode and share it with me on Instagram? Tag me at Visibility Vixen and let me know what piece of these messages you're going to enact in your visibility plan. That would absolutely be incredible. And I cannot wait to see them. I promise I will reply back. It helps me know that I'm creating content content that is resonating with you and helping you on a weekly basis. So thank you for doing that. Okay, so let's move on to number four. The fourth key message you need in your visibility plan is your value stack. And you may be saying, well, 
Is that really a message? It is. So much clarity comes from your ideal client knowing exactly what you offer and what those tiers are. So you can also call that a value ladder if you want to. But what I want you to do in terms of this being a key message is I want you to write down the ascension of where you take your clients from free to your highest paid offer. And it should be very congruent, right? We've talked about that before. And make that into a visual representation. And I want you to share that on your website and on your social media. I want you to test this and see how people respond because most of the time people don't understand exactly what we offer. So take another look at your website, go, okay, is it clear on the homepage exactly what I do? Is my mission statement there? Is my belief statement there? Is my hero story there or on my about page? And then go, is it clear what I offer? on my homepage, in my shop? Is it easy for people to buy from me? On my social media links, whether you use Linktree or Sociatap or whatever, is it clear? Can someone go direct to that sales page or checkout page? We need to stop making it such a mystery of how to buy. This is a way to enact a really strong visibility plan by having things be obvious to your ideal client. So take some time and do that. I'd love to see it. So tag me in it so I can see when you have this rocket and rolling. Okay, last but not least, we're going to talk about your brand video. I know I've talked about this before, but it's something I don't want you to forget. And we tend to look at the work involved and we're like, mm, I'm going to do that next quarter. But chances are it's not going to get done. And what really sucks about that is that a brand video it has so much power. It can be put in so many places, right? Social media, your website, your uh, on YouTube, on Pinterest even. It can be put on your press page. I mean, it is just such an evergreen resource. It's something you're going to adjust probably every year or two years, but it's such an incredible resource to share because it encapsulates everything we've been talking about today in one two minute video. So if you've been putting off the brand video, I'm going to kick your buns in here and say, go out there and start making it now because you are not going to regret it. You're going to be so relieved when it's done and it's going to enable you to share in a way you haven't shared before. It's something that you can put on your website. It's something that you can put on social media. It's such a beautiful thing that you can do. What if someone opted into your list and on the thank you page, it had your brand video and ways to connect with you, right? It's that engagement with your ideal client, which is so incredibly key. So I think I've given you plenty of homework today. This is probably one of the most actionable episodes we've had in terms of me setting you to go and do your homework. I want to encourage you to do that please let me know what your biggest takeaways were. I want to keep up with you on your journey. And remember, if you have not signed up for the Visibility Sprint Masterclass, be sure to do that. I will share the link below. I believe the link is visibilityvixen.com forward slash sprint. So be sure to take that class. And if you're ready to go in depth with these strategies times 100, I want to invite you to join the Visibility Lounge. This is a signature program I have created that will take you through all the aspects of visibility and enacting an incredible visibility plan so you can start bringing in traffic, subscribers, and most importantly, revenue. Then once this is in place, you'll be able to move into PR and we can talk about that later because we've got tons of offerings there as well at my new brand, The Publicity Place, which I am uh, launching with my friend Kristen Marquet, who is a publicist in New York City. You may recognize the name because I released a book with her a couple of years ago called Publicity Jumpstart. So if you are interested in joining the Visibility Lounge program, we would love to have you. You can look that up at visibilityvixen.com forward slash visibility lounge. In the meantime, sending you off to complete your homework, tag me, share with me so I can celebrate your progress. And next week, we're going to be bringing in a guest who is going to show you so much incredible stuff about being a best selling author. So I will see you then have a great rest of your day, get out there and be more visible. I hope you loved this episode as much as I did. Now we're all about building a tribe here at The Visible Entrepreneur, so be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and then head on over to the Facebook group. It's a great place where you can practice your video, live stream, and really enjoy the community that we have built. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next episode. Now get out there and get more visible. That's a wrap.